a writer and parenting lifestyle blog, but in a nutshell. Um, I'm just going to share with you today my review of the mountain buggy terrain. I've had it for a couple of months now. Um, I always prefer three wheelers because I live in that area where we do a lot of dog walking and we visit the beach. Uh, it's the bumper bar. I love the bumper bars on push chairs. Um, I'm not sure why. I don't know if they do much. Um, my toddler likes to lean on this and hold on to it and rest his head on it. So it's just kind of a little bit of extra comfort for him. But also the straps, which are really good because they're so easy to adjust. Just by doing that, pulling it down, you can make it bigger or smaller. There's no fiddling around or anything. To um, uh, I've had push chairs before. You've had to take everything apart to adjust. So that's really good if you're swapping and you're moving between children. And to get it in, again, I've had other ones where you've had to put everything in at the same time. So this one, you can just clip in and out. And the side bits adjust as well. And I like these little nifty pockets here, which are great for storing snacks or drinks or toys or dummies, if your little one has a dummy. And the bumper bar, does not it does come off. It comes off quite easily like this. We tend to leave it on, just clips on. But it moves up and down, so when you've got it folded flat, it's not in the way, it doesn't stick out. So that's another good feature. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was the um, how quickly you can make it into a recline position. So just by flicking these back, you can set it at any um, level you want. It actually goes really, really flat. I'll show you how flat it looks. You can see just pull each side like that. Um, I'm just trying to just tuck those in there in the way. Out the way. Um, and You've got more, even more storage here. So you've got two big zip panels. Um, I keep these to change. I've got a spare nappy, um, sun hat in the summer, or woolly hat and mittens in the winter. Just little things so when you're out and about, you're not going to get caught out. Nice and muddy because I do use this on a regular. But every day. Um, this is the other feature. This is the zip off. Not the zip off. Undo um, push chair cover which again when you're running or you're going over bumpy ground sorry my hair's in the way isn't it it just keeps everything in and I've forever losing things out of my last push chair I won't right just wanted to talk to you about the um, quick release wheels which um, are an absolute godsend you get two sets of wheels with um, it comes automatic you don't have to buy these separate so these ones are for when you're going off road or um, uh, they don't use them on the beach going jogging, amazing for jogging or long country walks. I don't use them very often because I'm only five foot three um, and it makes the buggy quite tall so um, uh, for my husband it's no, no problem, not that he goes running but it's just always good to have a spare pair anyway so if you have a puncture you've got them to hand um, and a quick release so all you do is a little see if I can this around a little grey clip here and you pull that back that one comes off and it goes straight on like that probably my only bugbear and that is the only bugbear is the brake which it's fine for me if you've got so it's here but if you've got thick boots on try and get your boot underneath there it's um that takes a bit of getting used to it. And don't do it without any shoes on because you can get your toes stuck in it. That's not good. If you're anything like me and you don't read instructions, you tend to just dive in and start working things out for yourself. The um, how to fold it probably will um, stump you. So this is basically what you're looking for. It's underneath the footprints there. Um, that's how you fold it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now because that did take me a while to work out and the instructions it came with it weren't really clear because it's just picture I tend to fold that one up out of the way and then I go here and you've got a little grey button here fold it over with your hand and then you twist it and it gives way like that flat and then I fold in the hat, handle bar like that and it is freestanding so, which is brilliant and then to put it in the back of the car um, 
if I want extra space, I'll take this one off and I'll take the wheels off and it does go quite flat. But it's as simple as that. So then when you're ready and you want to open again, again, go back in like that. And it is, I'll show you that again. So you fold that one up, buttons here, it's here. There's a little grey button. Yeah.